everyone. Welcome back to Drive Mod and Joy. I got Blake here. Welcome. Anna. Hi. We're back on the Bronco. Yes, this is Roof Rack Redemption. Why do we have a lot of redemption videos, Blake? Uh, because we're horrible at working on cars. Maybe. So, as you can see from the time lapse, roof is off. It is time to finally install the roof rack. We're excited. I'm sure Anna's finally excited. Yeah, it's so it's been a week. They made an excuse about having new people in their warehouse and that people are human, which is true, but still aggravating. Like, I don't need to hear I wish why. they just said, I I'm so sorry about this. Let us resolve this. But I will say the email I sent, that's what I got. But the social media stuff, somebody was clearly frustrated with me for pointing it out on the internet. So they did get it shipped out. That Libby Monday. was amazing. Like, yeah, as we said in, in the previous video, Libby from CB Event Supply is amazing. Shout out to CB Event Supply all the time. Yep. So, so we got it Wednesday, but we are full time employees still. So it is now Saturday. It is a week later and we're trying again. Time to install some brackets. All right. So as you guys can see, this was the reason last time why we couldn't install it. Um, we had two P's, but now we have we da, have da, the da. D. Yeah, so Zelda noise here. <laughs> essentially these go on these painted over bolts on each side, exactly where she is over there. Did, did, We're gonna get it. Did somebody did somebody say they gave us the D? Yeah, we finally got the D. They were denying our D. Alright, so painted bolts. Uh, if you don't want to take the finish off of them, put a plastic bag over your socket. Sometimes it works. So in theory, it should reduce the amount of trauma on the bolt. Wish somebody wrapped me in a plastic bag when I was a kid. What? Nope, didn't help. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, we'll just continue anyway. Not a big deal. So you gotta see, we gotta do Four of those on each side. And believe it or not, I think it took less damage without the bag. Without the bag? <laughs> nice. Let's rip the other side off real quick. Yeah. It's a beautiful. Now I'm assuming, do we use those supplied bolts to put that back on? Yes. So the bolt, those bolts will be the, what we put them back on with. Okay. They want you to snug, but not over tighten. And then this strip needs to go along, I believe it's right here. So we got so a strip you then. Put it on, it protects your paint from the metal. Cool. So we're going to get the strip on and we'll be back. Like so, you think, or like that? I think it goes piece. on the angle. Like right there? Yeah. A little long, so we can trim. Makes sense. Easier to cut off extra. You yeah. Know? Better too much than not enough. Always. On the angle. Yeah. There you go. Don't go too much into those uh, bolts there. It goes like right along the edge. What is that bird? Is that the rooster? I don't know. That's do 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 do. Well, no, I hear another like crackling one. Who knows? We have so many birds. Do you want a razor? Sure. <clears throat> nice. The other pieces for the pack racks can be done whenever, because this, this goes on, first. and then the actual roof goes back on, and the roof rack goes on, and then those pieces with the side mounts go together. So this is just pre-assembly stuff so that you can put it on the roof rack and then later we can add the side pieces and install all the good stuff. All right, so Blake's about to install the new bracket. Really easy to go on. In theory. In theory. Definitely in theory. Zoop. Zoop. Here, I'm here. It's really? <laughs> <laughs> it's How many men does it take? Hey. Careful. Man, it seems pretty long, actually. 
Do we have a torque specification for these? Nope, just do not over tighten. Should we hand do them? Nah. <laughs> That's, I think, 30 foot pounds, I think. Yeah. Ate the paint. It's fine. Meh. Oops. Yeah, I was gonna say you just blew it on the inside. I'm gonna vacuum. <laughs> I've I already mean, got. Who knows how much stuff is gonna fall in there? Just there's already tree the spooge in there, so me. Tree what? Tree spooge. It's the little things that fall off the trees. Nice. Pretty much the second we took the roof rack off, all the little yellow bits that fall off the oak tree were in there. It does look cool. Mm-hmm. Well, and it also and it's means solid. all of the weight from whatever I put here is gonna be on the actual it's body, body of my car roof, yeah. so i don't have to worry about that we got one on do, do, do. step two and i love that these are tapered so they just find their own yes super quick it's almost like ford thought about all this stuff all right well mm -hmm. that's one thing about the bronco is it's so modular because Ford took into account that people are going to modify the hell out yes. of this thing. Uh, whether it be simple bolt-ons like this or, you know. Running all the off. wires through the firewall for me. Yeah. yeah. That. <laughs> A pre-wired switch panel. So nice. Like retrofitting anything on this car is easier than anything I've ever seen. Sorry if it's windy outside, y'all. Springtime in Texas. Hi, nice neighbor dude that waved. They're cool. She was a customer of mine. Her name is Michelle. Oh, wow, really? <laughs> That's cool. How about that? Trees are farming us. Oh. Because we create their carbon dioxide and we create their soil. All right, they are we farm good? us. Do we need that back open? Uh, I think it's actually. It's better closed. Okay. Yeah. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three. Way less to go around. And all, right. all the way up. Look the back. Step. We're good. Good. I'll worry about you guys. Watch fingers. Okay. Hold on. I'm in. I'm in. There it goes. Heck yeah. Uh, front is not in. There it goes. Perfecto. Nice. Show them with the camera. So while the guys are putting on the bolts that keep the roof on, I wanted to show you guys how subtle and nice this little piece is. Like, if I ever wanted to take the whole roof off, I could conceivably leave this on and it wouldn't really change the body of the car. So that's cool. Thank you. All right, what's next? So since we got the brackets on, roof's back on, roof's all set, what's next? All right, so there, the clamps that go on the actual roof to hold the roof on, or roof rack on, we have to put these four inch strips of foam and like smooth them along. And then we can start putting the deflector on. Wow. And we have to put the deflector on the actual bars. Okay. So we can stick it on up there. So show me where we need to do this mount on the Bronco. Okay, so the actual clamps that I was just talking about that get foam go back up here. There's okay. a little indent right here and they, they're gonna sink in on this. Okay. And then the front over here. Is it those two things at the front? Oh, these are gonna pop off and that's where the front is going to go and the deflector sits right above that. Nice. I am so. a monkey. <laughs> uh, yeah, see how it says accessory ready? Uh, accessory these, ready. Do these yeah. need to come off? Yep. They just should just come right off. I'm not, yeah, there you go. No tools necessary. And since they're painted, we probably want to take care of those. Put them over here. Yeah. Yeah, um, I don't remember if they'll go back on with the roof rack on, like over it or not. Some of them do and some of them don't. I don't remember if this is one of them. And Blake's just snapping off the last one right now. And then we need to go ahead and put the two front roof panels on. Okay, so it's roof panel time? Yeah, they can go under the rack, but it's easier to just put them okay, on the Okay, I will hand you this then. I'm trying to find the, the hole. 
hard to find sometimes. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Roof is reassembled. I know, right? Cool. All right, roof is on. Cool. All right, what's next? All right, so these are the brackets that go on the rear portion of the uh, roof rack. This foam goes on this side and this side because when the rack is here, it'll get sandwiched in between and this is what holds it onto the roof line. Okay. So this protects the paint. So we have to take this really thick, stubborn piece of foam and shove it in here. All yummy. It's gonna be great. And we'll start awkward. on with that. It's gonna get stuck on everything. It's gonna be lovely. Watch me fail at this. No. Uh, eh. Eh. Eh? <laughs> Why are you making noises at me? <laughs> Who is that that's English? Um, do you speak it? What are you talking about, Sam Jackson? And <laughs> Thank you. To the Pulp Fiction? Okay, somebody with blunter nails than mine is gonna have to make sure it's actually shoved down in there or get me a tool because I'm gonna poke through the foam. <laughs> somebody else wants to do that one. I will do the ones that All don't right, here, that you take the camera. Oh no. <laughs> it's not as easy as it looks. It is as easy as it looks. Mm. No, it isn't. All right, put the screwdriver in. Razor blade over there. There we go. That's nice. I like that. Cool. These will be a lot easier to do because it's on an external curve instead of an internal curve. Is it the same thing, essentially? Yep. We so. just don't want to get in in between these holes, right? Correct. So you can start on that edge. But we don't want it in between though, right? Because if it gets in between, wouldn't that screw it up? Okay. Yeah, I'm doing it right. Probably needs a trim though. If you smush it all the way down in the corner, it doesn't need a trim, does it? Smish. I'm, asking. I'm not critiquing, I was asking. It's as good as it's gonna get, buddy. Doesn't stick very well. I mean, it's gonna have all the pressure in the world to help it stick later. Dang. I'm sweating over here. Where should we start? All right. Squishies. It's hard. I know. All right, squishies, Blakey. Yes. I'm allowed to be amused. Nice. Okay. You wouldn't even let me do one by myself. Nope. Mm. <laughs> one of these days, I'm gonna take a part out here and sneakily install it by myself. As long as you film it, I don't care. <laughs> And then. All right, so we are all foamed. All right, so what's in your hand? These are little back bracket, like plates. And one of the net sets of instructions is to install these. Essentially, there's these little cutouts for Trail Racks' logo. And they want you to take them and put them behind the logo and install them. We're gonna powder coat those at some point blue. We're gonna, through, well, I think they're aluminum, but we'll, we'll do something to You can, you can color coat them. aluminum. Whatever. Yeah. We'll make them pretty colors. But what else do we have to do? And then the other thing that we have to do before we can actually start assembling things is take weather stripping. Let me put these down before I drop them because I know myself. Um, this is my deflector. And the weather stripping needs to come along this edge right here to help with wind noise, which the Bronco has already got plenty of and does not need more of. Sure. So where is the... Weather stripping is in the parts down here. So on all of these parts, right next to your foot. there it is. There you go. So that'll go right along here. It'll get sandwiched. The metal will get sandwiched inside of this. All right, throw it on. All right, so the gasket, we are folding over in half. Approximately. Approximately. Not, not completely, but close enough. And putting it in the center and moving it out from there as uh, trail racks kind of instructed. It's their recommendation. This stuff is squirrely. 
don't like standing so close to your car because I'm worried it's going to get scratched. That's a good point. Okay. Nope. Yep. So instead of doing it myself, Rob has decided to do it, and I have decided to gracefully give in and hold the camera instead. I mean, that's hard. Uh, I mean, it's tight. And that's what he said. What? Mm. Tee hee. <laughs> Whew. That's tough, huh, Blakey? I guess. I mean, I'm pushing against you pretty hard, aren't I? Yeah, you are. <sighs> I don't know why I put up with both of you. You love us. Because today you get to be the mature one and you don't often fill that space. And it's awesome. Usually I'm the one rolling eyes. <laughs> I'm gonna roll my eyes if you keep it up. Love you too. I think I got it. Okay. Ooh. Yep. There she goes. It's on there. And then? And now I believe is the time where we start getting some of those. I remember what they call them. Iron pole things and start installing stuff along those. So do they want us to put bars at pretty much like the front and the back, you thinking? Yeah, so it's front and back, and then you use the, I don't remember what these are ones, the carriage bolts yeah. that have the weird little sides on them. You put them along the, tra the top so that you have a way to attach this. This is the bracket that goes to the front of the vehicle. To the front next to my windshield. Okay, makes sense. So this attaches to the actual roof rack, and then that goes on the roof. The wood shield so that it's nice and solidly attached and then the deflector goes just above these okay perfect all right so the next set of instructions we are supposed to take these carriage bolts show them. looks like this what's special about a carriage bolt is the underside of the bolt head it's in a square shape yep and so what that does is when you slide it into a channel like so once it's in here it can't twist which is really nice because it's not like you can put anything on the other side of this to hold it steady so you have to have four of those. Four of those up front. On this side, because these four are going to be used to hold these brackets down. Okay. The brackets go into the um, mounts right in front of my windshield. And so I have to make sure we're doing this the correct orientation because- I was gonna say the orientation matters. Is that the right direction? Instructions. Warning, for the correct mounting windshield mounting brackets, make sure the arrows face away from each other. And then other than that, it is- And it goes on the top of the rail, not- Well, the top of the rail as it is currently okay. sitting, Just making but sure. I'm sure it will get rotated at some point. It's been a week since I watched these instructions on the video, so. All right. With nylon locking nuts, yes. So yeah, there we are. Sounds good. With the nylocks? Yep. All right, what were you saying? Uh, I was saying once we put these nylocks on, we have to make sure that they stay loose because after we've assembled this to a certain point, um, we're actually gonna put it on the roof, make sure that these are in exactly the right spot on the rail, and then we tighten them down so that they we don't have the issue with getting it onto the brackets. Okay. That makes sense to you, Blake? I think so. <laughs> All right, what you doing up there? All right, so, this mounting hard bracket needs to go on here. Sorry we if it's need, windy, guys. But we need to take these nuts off first. Okay. Which Those did. look like tens? Yeah, that's Blake went to go grab it. Does also, the plastic piece also come off? Has to, right? Uh, Yeah, it's gonna have to because there's no way for that to go through on that. That's fine. Nice. So we'll get that installed. Be very careful not to crack the windshield like I almost just did. They're not very tight. I didn't, okay. I didn't almost crack it. I almost like barely nudged it. Everything's fine. <laughs> I almost broke the windshield. Did the plastic? The plastic should come off, yeah. Plastics come off? Yeah. 
Uh, so those are just 10 mils? Yeah. 10 millimeter. And the plastic piece does come off. Plastic carrier comes right off. Nice. I, I really love how modular they've made this vehicle. Like, and everything that this this kit from Trail Racks is using is all using factory mounting. Yeah, parts. it's all factory. We don't have to cut anything, drill anything, nut cert anything. It's really amazing. All right, so I figure you're gonna have to slide yours down, obviously, a lot. All right, mine is over it right now. All right, the next thing is though. Start the thread. We're not really actually. Quick. Should we? Yes. Because we're just trying to center this. Just so it, it falls. Just so it doesn't fall. Yeah. For whatever reason. I'm just gonna put one on there for now. Okay. And then? And then. No, and then. Then we have to try to center this. Uh that's easy. You're gonna go. I can stand figure it out. Yeah. Help. I'll be right back. So what are you doing up there, Rob? Three and three quarter. So Blake has it completely flush with the end, right? Mm -hmm. So since it's flush over there, I could take a measurement here and just half that amount and we know that's centered now. So it's three and three quarters. How do you half three quarters? Three and three quarters. So one and a half, half of three quarters is six eight. So three eighths so past one and a half. So to put it at one and a half, and then it's three eighths more than that. So that's one and a half, I'll pull it three eighths back out. Your way. What's three eighths? <laughs> Just kidding. My little hatches. So it should be one eighth away from that. Me. Should be centered. What's your measurement from base to? Should be one and seven eighths essentially. Let me. Yeah, it should be one and seven eighths. Cool. And that's how you center it. All right. Well, now you guys get to hold it while I put the camera down and get you hardware or tools to tighten Sick. it down. All right. So we took off the front. It is perfectly measured up, and I believe we build it all on the ground now, I would assume. Maybe? Not really. I guess we could, according to this. So the, the video instructions and the written instructions are slightly different, but I think we'll be okay either way. So according to the written instructions, our next thing to do is to install um, button head bolts, washers, and T-nuts onto the uh, deflector plate and keep the T-nuts loose and then we're going to slide it onto the brackets assembly that we just made. Cool. It's just like Legos for big kids. All the organizing, all the different sizes, yeah, the dude. colors, the shapes. And, and let's be real, I'm basically a 34 year old child. Okay, so since we put the logo on the driver's side, um, it's the quarter inch, so it's a half inch long. Oh, 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 hold on, I've got a tool for that. It's the ones that are <laughs> half inch long button head bolts. These are three core. Mm, tricky. Should be the actual length of the bolt, not the head. Yeah, these are three quarter. The little shorties, are these the half inch ones? They are. And there half. should be 10 of them. Three quarters. Long boys. Four of those. Ooh, wind. Okay. All of our All right. bolts are separated. And then what's the other? So we need the shorties. Yep. Half inch. Uh, washers. Black ones or silver ones? Black ones. That would be Loctite. Sick. Which it hasn't told us to use anywhere, but that's okay. Don't litter. Okay. Okay. And then the T-nuts. Which are those? Those, yeah. All right, so you put the whole, you put the bolt through the deflector and a T-nut on the back, is that correct, Blake? Bolt and washer on one side, T-nut on the other. Okay, that makes sense. Like that? Like that. On and you floor. do it for, yep. all for all 10? Ten. And you leave it loose enough that you can put it through the uh, rail when nice. you're all done. Seems easy enough, just tedious. So basically Blake is doing it for every single section of these holes all the way across. Okay, so since the T-bolts are all oh, yeah. installed, 
Now we have to orient them all in a particular way, which is going to be a nightmare because it always is because they have to be loose in order to install this stuff. And then you have to try to slide those in like that. They're at different heights. I don't know if that's going to mess you up or not. And you're also hitting the roof just barely. Yep, this is one of those I think I'm going to stop recording and just help. All right, so deflector is all put together. What's the next step? Okay, next we are going to be adding all of the extrusions to the side rails. So build the roof rack. They're actually, yep, to build the roof rack. Build the roof okay. rack, build the roof rack. And then it says, make sure that the wind deflector is resting on top of the passenger and driver's side rails when you do so. So I guess we should make sure we know that side's the front. So this goes here. And then it's one, two, three, four, five. Yep, we gotta start seven. building yep. it. Yep. Um, we'll probably just put you guys on a time lapse for this because it's gonna be a lot of like holes. So uh -huh. we'll get it going. Alrighty, so if you guys can see, we did get the roof rack completely assembled here on the floor. Next step is actually putting in place on the Bronco. Now, that's gonna sit again on those threaded inserts that are behind that deflector. That's gonna be a nightmare. And then it looks like we put on the back brackets right after that. So here's to putting it on the Bronco. Pause. Pause. Switch hands. That was bad setup on your part, baby. Okay. All right. Ready? Moving. Out of room. Hang tight. Hang tight. We're almost there. Okay. Mine is on. Mine's in. All right. You can let down. Now this is going to be a nightmare. So, your fairing, can it come up enough to get under there? No, of course it can't. Okay. <laughs> this side has been tightened so it couldn't slide off. It doesn't we matter. get under here to, pu to put the bolts on. That was an 11. Do we have a stubby? So it's There's actually the nylocks that they sent us to put back on. It's I almost think it's trail. smarter to take off the deflector and put it back. It was really hard to put that deflector on. Was it? Yes. It was difficult. Well, hold up. Let me see if I can get, because it, it has new bolts. Let me see if I can use my little fingers. On if you grab the camera. So, as the boys troubleshoot getting bolts, on preliminary look of the roof rack so right now the guys are putting washers on the set screws at the front by the windshield with the fairing it's an interesting angle to get to so they're working their way through it yo what's up we have 93 viewers 108 viewers 120 viewers what's up guys what's up so what size was it was it 10 11. it is a little 11. all right Surprise. Right now, securing the rack base to the factory studs above the windshield. No drilling required. Thank you for the like. What's up, Michael Swaney 466? Four Topher, what's kicking? Randy 57? I don't like this. <laughs> it's hard, right? No, it's like spinning. What? Yeah, it's like it's spinning. Like it didn't actually grab the threads? Like it's grabbing the threads, but... But the actual screw is spinning, not mounted correctly? Weird. It's almost like it pulled out the thread. Or it's the wrong size. Is it a 10? Now, I couldn't have put that much torque on it. Hello, 
of random neighbors that work on stuff every weekend just like we do. Better? Shut there. It's just such a tight space to ratchet in. Yeah, it just sucks. Alright, we will rejoin you guys when we're done getting it tightened on down. All right, so the roof rack is in place. That was a nightmare. Getting at those bolts was not fun. I think I actually stripped one, but it is what it is. We got to continue. So next step, and I believe Anna can explain this. We okay. have to do these mounting brackets on the rear. So these brackets, you have to pay attention to the arrow. The arrow points to the front. Okay. Okay. This is the inside of the rack. This is the outside of the rack because it literally sandwiches into the between little the on the roof, between the rack to hold the rack onto the roof, like so. Okay. And this is the ones that we put the foam on yep. earlier. It uses one inch bolts, nylon washers, and, or sorry, the nylon nuts, and the black oxide washers. Which we have enough of. Cool. Yep. That's why I said we could just replace a bolt because they gave us extra hardware, I think. Well, we'll get on that. Yeah? Heck yeah. It's one. Boom. So from the outside. Okay. All right. Yeah. And we will do the same on the other side. So inside. I'll climb up there. You sure? Outside. That's a pain in the butt, Blake. And now she's ready to go. Over. Here. Step stool, buddy. Tire. Built in step stool. Alright. And I get more height this way. Bracket me, Daddy. Back of the Bronco. There we go. On the other side on now. By the way, it is not tied over there. I can't get this thing in far enough to. Here, want me to do it? I did the other one. The foam is like keeping it from going in all the way. Oh yeah, you're not in on that side really. You gonna smush it? So Rob is doing something mysterious over there. Not sure exactly what. Say hi. Hey. <laughs> if the, uh, this one is squished more, so it's causing an issue, you might have to cut it. It's like I need it like in an angle, you know what I mean? I'm gonna come down and see what's going on over there. So after finagling it, because that foam was giving us a bunch of trouble, Rob's now tightening everything down. It did not want to sit. In that little it still engine. doesn't want to. It still doesn't want to, but if we tighten it enough, the foam will get compressed and it won't have a choice but to cooperate, right? I think, maybe. And since I'm afraid of heights and I've been really trying to not be a pansy about it, I really appreciate you doing that for me. Co Flores says, what in the Chris fix is going on here? Exactly. Chris yeah. fix? Good question, dude. It's a, it's a Trail Racks roof rack install on a 23 Bronco, two door. Right. Nightmare. And now we are it's tightening a, down the other side. It's not a fun one, that's for sure. And Thanks who you hear on. Blake talking to in the background is, in case you didn't know, we have a TikTok. And sometimes we like to go live during these installs as we're filming for YouTube. And some of you'll get to see a little bit of the behind the curtain action, so to speak. So you can always find our TikTok and join us there and watch our lives as we do these. And you'll get to see the other side of what it's like to make a YouTube channel. Go ahead. YouTube's a lot of work. YouTube's a lot of work. Uh, yeah, YouTube isn't exactly like glamorous, especially when you're starting out. It's a lot of work. With very little payoff. Very little payoff. To start anyway. But... I guess this is some background for not only TikTok that's going live right now and for YouTube. Me, Blake, and Anna set a New Year's, a New Year's resolution 
to put out one video a week for this entire year, just to see what happens. So, so far we've done it. So far since we started. Que paso? What broke? The tool. The tool? Oh. Really? Those are expensive tools. Aren't those the Milwaukee ones? No, this one's not Milwaukee. Okay. Oh, that one's, those are the Harbor Freight ones. Okay, I'm less mad. <laughs> A magnetic thing for right now. If wow. Any random okay, so I need another up, set of these. So if any I random ladies on it. end up on here who don't actually do all of the car stuff, but you're maybe listening to this while somebody in your life does it, when he tells you that he needs to spend money on quality tools, there's a reason. This is why it just broke the tip right off. What's up, Doug Russell? It actually does make a difference. It sucks from a budget, but buy once, cry once is something you learn pretty quickly in this. Okay, so we are putting together the pack racks. So one each side with the logo made in the USA on it. And then it has this little mounting plate. Are you, these, hmm? these don't feel right. That is what the destructions say. They're just super tight. Mm -hmm. Oh, guess. they're, yep, I got it. And then, so it does come with its own little hardware kit. And then we will be throwing those on the side of the newly installed stuff. All right, so both side pods have been built. I did that. You did that? I tried. I mean, I hope I did it right. So what's next? For top of each arm, use two of the three quarter inch long black oxide button head bolts two with black outside washers, and two of the nylon nuts. Sure. And for the bottom, it's the 5 eighths stainless bolts and washers. Stainless bolts? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll get on it. OK, so so far, we have on the bottom of the rail, silver or stainless, I guess, and the washers. And then what Blake is currently working on is the top. You have to line it up just right and then get the bolts through and the washers and then put the nut on the back and it's just wiggly enough. It's still kind of a pain in the butt, I guess. Can you grab me two more sets like that, Anna? Let's go the other side. Two of the black bolts, two washers, ah, okay. and two nylocks. Gotcha. Thanks. So for the other side, Rob got me the Expedition Essentials Max Tracks mount and lock. And we're figuring out how we're going to mount it on here because it needs to be mounted before the track packs can actually go on the side of the Bronco. And just figuring out what the best option is. Try and make two separate things work together. Pretty sure we already have hardware that'll be a good no, idea. I don't. No, it doesn't quite fit. I could drill it out really quick. Up to you. It's not like we'll be able to see once it's all done and I'm not worried about it rusting. Yeah. So this is a really cool piece of gear. But I gotta figure out how to mount it. That's the hard part. And then on the other side, we're gonna be using the red box mounts. I have one that locks, another one that doesn't. So I can get my four gallon red packs up there since it was the most streamlined solution. And we'll see how it all ends up going together. Uh, over here, Blake, ah, I got the sun in my eyes, which means it's in your eyes. Blake is finalizing one side of mounting it all up. We might end up having to pull it back off again so we can put things on it, but we'll see. I don't know, don't look at me like that. Take it off again? I said we might end up, maybe, we don't know yet. The Rotopax ones aren't quite so bad to get on, so I don't know, we'll see. So you might be wondering why the guys are back at the front of the roof rack. And I'm here to tell you it's because we have discovered. So when I read the directions out loud about which nylon nuts we need to put, I read the name of the nuts, but we didn't really pay very much attention as to the size of them. And it turns out there were four of the M6 by one millimeter nuts. They are smaller than the rest of the nuts in the kit. We didn't think about that, we just grabbed four of them and went to install it. And that's part of why the install in the front was so difficult. So now the guys are going to take the fairing off and they're going to take those nuts off and replace them with the ones that are the correct size because otherwise it messes with the integrity of the install. And yep, the, they're not, they're too big. The nuts are too big and it's not safe. You grab an so, 11 millimeter. Yeah. Here it goes. All right, so the problem was the nut. 
instead is fine. Oh no, the threads are gone. Oh no. Gone like the new They're nut. They're gone. The new nut isn't going to fix it gone. The joys of DIY, I guess. My threads are completely stripped. No. Just the front one that we already thought was messed up anyway. Yeah, I can't. Okay, so these nuts are incorrect. Where are the correct ones? Here. What size tools do you need for them? A 10 millimeter. It's a 10. I need a hammer. You want the rubber mallet inside? Or do you want an actual hammer? Rubber mallet. All right, be right back. We will resume the recording once we've got it fixed, guys. So, hey Rob, share the good news about the threading. So actually when we put these new nuts back on, it right. re-threaded that actual stud. So I am confident now that it is going nowhere and it's fixed as of right now. So. Where's he going? No, no way. So in other words, I was kind of concerned about the fact that it wasn't solid like I thought it should be and all that. And then we figured out why now it's fixed. So, we so back learn from our mistakes, guys. So to fix that, they took the oh, uh, deflector off. Go get the little pick. You know what I'm saying? The, the little to, orange handle yes. pick? Yes. Or, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this here so it can record your struggles. I'll go for Thanks. <laughs> this whole roof rack has just gone wrong every way possible. Am I right, Blake? You're right. Okay, my sides are lined up and pretty flush with the edge of the roof rack. If we had had better reading comprehension and realized that there were different sizes, would it have been better? You say we like we were reading the instructions too. I read them out loud verbatim and none of us thought about it. So I have two different shapes of picks here in case that helps. Should I go update TikTok? Yeah. Fixed, at least. Now, those we can get the fairing off, back on. The I got these four in. Oh, did I get it? I got it. Yep. Now they just have to make sure. Well, that's kind of a relief. We need to find that one missing bolt, though. Yeah. It'll get stuck in a tire or something later, I bet. That's not a good thing. <laughs> I guess I'll go look for that. Oops. What was that? Washer. Washer you want to have me one side? bolt and washer? I'm going to try to get the center. Heck yeah. Push down the fairing. Check if it went in this uh, cubby. In the door, maybe. It's not any of my pockets. No, it fell on the ground. Or it fell down. I don't know if it hit the ground or not. No, in this cubby. I was wondering if it could fit there, but no. I don't think so. Okay, we've got the rack installed. Fairing's on. Everything's mounted, and now Rob and Anna are looking at options for accessory mounting. And this part looks mildly frustrating. It is. Um, I think it would have to go on. This Just line side. it. No. Yeah. It's the best I can do with. Okay, hold it up. Yep. Very nice. Can't believe this is actually working. Pocket nuts. <laughs> Bobby has pocket nuts. Yeah, I have pocket nuts. Nice. Here. Anna, screw. Okay. It needs right. to be as far Here. as possible. On the other side of the thing. Does it go through right here? That's you right. can you can line it up, I can't. I can't see through. Okay. Will you lean over this way enough to block the sun for me? So I can tell if I can see. Really? The sun's the issue? Okay. Okay, that won't go through, so this is the only this is the furthest away that it will. Okay. It's on. Alright, so now I need 
the tool that is the hex that's the right size so I can tighten down. You're going to use that uh, hand one. Oh, yeah. Mm. This? Yep. I don't know what size they are. Give me a second. It's, right, it's supposed to oh, on the back. Yeah, I don't know. Try. You can ratchet, Anna. She can't ratchet. Oh, wait, no, never mind. It needs to be tight. This is holding a lot. That's hand tight. That is currently hand tight. Uh, I have less room up here, so. Yeah. Alright, tighter, tight. tighter. If I'm here, we need to do it all the way tight. Alright, I was gonna say the metal is flexing. This was the tough one, right? The rotor pack should be a lot easier. The rotor pack should be easier, yeah. Let's see, if we're able to do this from the top for this, we'll be able to do the rotor packs. Rotate that. Is this gonna make it a nightmare for the tinter? Isn't it tinted from the inside? It's a, uh, it's, he cuts it with a machine. Okay. Well. I'm over this. I'm over just this entire roof rack. I'm glad it's on. All right. So I think we've got it uh, finished up here, yeah? Yeah, it's done. Um, <laughs> this has been a long day. It has been, what time is it? Uh, five hours we've been at this. And we've had to take off the roof rack a few times to get this right, but it's an amazing piece of gear. Look. Looks good. Look how awesome. Very cool. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode or this helped you out at all, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, check out the links down below. Sometimes we have links to the actual things we're using. Um, and then always, always check out our big cartel shop. We have stickers for sale. It always helps out the channel. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye everyone. See y'all next time.